G'day, it's Simon from Renegade Empire here, and what I'm going to have a look at today is one of the tools that I use called Workflowy. Uh, now, Workflowy helps to organize information. Um, basically, it's just lists within lists within lists, and it's awesome for quickly putting together lists, checklists, um, notes, um, organizing information. Uh, yeah, it's pretty flexible, and it's, it works on mobile, so it's pretty awesome. So I'm going to take you through some of the ways that I use it, and hopefully you can get some usage out of it as well. All right, so one of the first things is uh, bullet points, which is quite obvious. Like Workflow is pretty much entirely structured around using bullet points. So I've set up a couple here. Uh, we've got Organize Your Brain, Today's Tasks, so I can have a little task list here. More things easily go in here. And then this could have sub lists. So task one, task two, task three. I can easily just collapse this up. So today's tasks. And then within Renegade Empire, we've got marketing, email marketing. You can see there's lots and lots of lists within here, but I can quickly just collapse these ones down so I can uh, not get overwhelmed basically by the, the structure of this. The next tip is on focus. So what you can do, uh, which I find really fantastic about workflow is focus in on a specific uh, bullet point. So looking within, let's say marketing, uh, email marketing. So we've got a project for an email campaign for new socks. Uh, so we can just click the bullet point itself and that dr uh, drills us right down into the specific uh, the specific project in this case. So we're just looking at this. So we're not looking at all the different points, um, everything to do with this tutorial, not getting overwhelmed by all the different points we've got here. We're going straight within this. So easy to click and see this. Uh, we've got multiple points to create this landing page uh, and we can even drill right into that landing page so we're just focused on that specific task and these specific subtasks. The next tip I want to take a look at is uh, to do with notes. So you can see this is gray task below this bullet point here, uh, which is uh, a note specifically for that bullet point. Hey, so to be able to get to that, you just press shift and then enter, and then you can get into types and notes, typing about anything at all. some context okay so we're giving some context in the task we've got a description here if we click out of this description it collapses up but we've got this little dot 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 to show that the description exists so the next tip we want to take a look at is completed tasks so each one of these bullets can be completed uh, which archives it and then we can show hide completed tasks so we're doing this email campaign doing this landing page uh, let's say we've got unbound set up already so we complete that and then we want to create the copy so let's complete this so it makes it nice and clear so we're getting through this checklist so we can keep them there by uh, just toggling completed or not so you can see the tasks that have actually been completed as part of the project all right the next tip i want to take a look at is on sharing and uh, one of these bullet points so i've got this one it's got the the shared icon is uh it's turned into just like a purpley color. So you can just hover over any one of these bullet points and just cl click shared and you've got some sharing options. So it gives a unique URL uh, for this particular sharing link. I've just set it as view, but you can set it to edit and then you can stop sharing that particular list. So using this URL, I can share this particular URL with anyone. It's not public as in it's not broadcasted anywhere. Someone has to know that exact URL in order to access it. But then you can email it to someone, send them a message and they'll uh, be able to jump straight into this particular list and they won't be able to see anything else so here's what it looks like so the, there's no history like at the top here i've got the breadcrumbs so i can drill back down into the rest of the project but here all that they can see is exactly what i've shared to them so the email campaign for new socks so they can see the progress it's great for sending to managers if you're collaborating with a team it's fantastic for, for doing things like that next thing i want to take a look at is keyboard shortcuts so uh very easy you can just open up the keyboard shortcuts there they're available um, from within the desktop version and you can just see the different shortcuts to make it even faster to add new lists uh, move up and down between different parts of your um, your overall list which is great okay i hope you found that useful uh, if you have any additional comments or if you have any tips on using workflowy i'd love to hear about them uh, in the comment section and i look forward to seeing you in the next video